Hey guys, um, okay, where do we even start with this? This is just the biggest clusterfuck that I have been trying to get my hands on for, it's been over a week now. Filming this on a Monday, this happened I think a week ago Sunday, a week ago Saturday. So when this happened, I was waiting for a couple of days to see if this would be confirmed or denied or just anything concrete another photo anything i was waiting for something and lots of people were sending me dms of the pictures and articles of this situation and what the situation is i mean you can tell by the title but basically this singer called kelsey got a face tattoo of harry styles and everyone was just like holy shit is it real is it fake oh my good god like everyone was having a meltdown even philip defranco covered this like the god of the news philip defranco covered this so <laughs> i was just kind of sitting back hoping for the best to be honest with you and i decided I was going to make a video on it uh, last Thursday and I was like you know what I'm going to film this and um, I have notes on it let me show you because um, a screenshot you might think oh she's faked it but yeah you can see there Thursday the 31st I wrote notes and I wrote down sometimes when I make videos like this I'll write down bullet point notes just to make sure I cover every point so what I did is I put it into categories of why I thought it was real why I thought it could be fake and real so these points could have covered both theories and then why I thought it was fake so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to quickly go through this obviously we now know that it is 110% fake it's not real but I still want to sit down here and talk about it a little bit because it got confirmed before I could even sit down and make a video about it. And then I want to talk about how and why it this is so problematic. So yeah, let's just do a backstory of my history with Romeo. I obviously don't know him in real life, just absolutely not. But I've made two videos about Romeo Lacoste in the past. One was my tattoo etiquette video where I talked about him and his problematic attitude towards the way he does tattoos. I don't have a problem with his artistic skills. Does it take a lot of skill to do a micro tattoo, a fine line tattoo? Absolutely. fucking lootly Don't have a problem with that. I just have a problem with his attitude by saying it's gonna last forever. My tattoos are indestructible. They don't age, they don't blur, they don't blow out when there's a lot of photographic evidence to show that they do. Um, but he's just like proclaimed himself as the line god. Like nobody gave him that title. He gave that to himself. That's like me saying, oh hi, I'm like the tattoo information princess. Like absolutely not. I know that that kind of ego, I just don't enjoy that ego. So I'll leave a link to that video down below. I also made a video about when James Charles tattooed his brother. Uh, obviously James Charles has no tattooing practice. You know, he's not been through a tattoo apprenticeship. He's not he just doesn't know what he's doing, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but Romeo Lacoste was, you know, there to guide him or whatever. And oh, it was a hot mess. I don't agree with him, you know, being the tutor towards that. And also the design that was drawn up was a copy of someone else's artwork, which you just don't do. It's not okay in any way, shape or form. So I had an issue with that, so I made a video on that, but I think James Charles has actually deleted his original video, but obviously me being me and the queen of fair use, I had a few clips of that. So if you want to look at that, link's down below. So that's my backstory with Romeo. He's just a, in my opinion, problematic person. You don't see any other tattoo YouTubers behaving this way. There's a, a small handful of tattoo artists on YouTube. There's not many. I wish there was more just to get more information out there. Okay, so in case you didn't know, I've definitely just done a backstory on this, but a week or so ago, a girl called Kelsey who is a singer. I personally had never heard of her before. I don't think a lot of people have heard of her before. No shade or anything like that. She was kind of like a small indie uh, singer and she got a face tattoo of the singer Harry Styles. Well, that's what we thought and there was so much buzz around it Everyone was like, oh my god, is this real? And oh my god, if it is real, it's so horrible. Or if it's fake, this is so pathetic and stupid and <sighs> I'll get more into that in a second. Anyway, so let's go into the reasons why I thought it was real. The first one 
is it did look quite legit with the redness. It did look like she had had a face tattoo because, you know, for the most part, most of us do go a bit red around the area that we do get tattooed and that was quite legit, if you ask me. That was very, very telling. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, that could be real. Because if it was just like the stencil or like, I don't know what they used to do it. I think it was eyeliner in the end or like a graphic pen or something like that. Um, but if you just had that, it would have looked so, so fake. But because their foundation had been rubbed off and maybe a little bit of lipstick or something was put on that area to make it look real and red and raw, it was, it definitely fooled a lot of us. It fooled me for a bit. Um, I, by the way, looked at that photo so many times I could tell you everything about her facial features. <laughs> I would be able to spot her in a dark alley full of people. Honestly, I've stared at her face so much. Um, the one thing that nobody, I don't think, touched on that made me think it was real. So I am a person that has been tattooed a few times. And what I was also drawn to was the fact that some of her eyeliner had come off. I don't, I know that sounds so stupid and fucking hell Lauren, stop looking at the photo because that's a bit weird to notice something like that. But I noticed that some of her eyeliner had gone from the corner of her eye and I thought, holy shit, this might be real because I could imagine a face tattoo to be kind of spicy, kind of painful. So your eyes may water a bit. You know when like you get like a nose piercing or a lip piercing or a piercing in your face area, sometimes your eyes can water. I thought, holy shit, that it could be real <laughs> because half of her eye makeup is missing and maybe she cried a bit off or something. I don't know, but I noticed that and I went, holy shit. If it was fake, then her face would be completely perfect, you know? She would be like, holy shit, let me just fix up my eyeliner and stuff like that. But I thought that was such a candid tattoo photo that a tattoo artist would just take. They don't care about what you look like, they just want that picture of the tattoo. Anything else they don't really concentrate on. So that's what made me think, holy shit, this could be real. Another theory as to why I thought it was real is because I went onto her Instagram page, I think on the Friday, and she had a story of a, like, I don't know what it was, it must have been a FaceTime call or something, and you could see this blackness on her face, and I thought, holy shit, this has been taken recently, and she still has it on her face, so that means it's real. And I was like, holy shit, I am so shook right now. I thought I'd confirmed it. I was like, oh my God, this is real. This is real, I have the juicy tea here. It was probably from that day, to be honest, but that was another reason why I thought it was real. <laughs> so she also has a song called Harry, and there is this guy, this is a bit of a stretch now, but this is why I thought it could have been real. But there is people that are really, really obsessed with celebrities for whatever reason, I don't know. I've never been that obsessed with a celebrity in my whole entire life. Maybe Tom Hardy, but that's another thing. <laughs> there's this guy that has, I actually think he might be getting them lasered off now. I'm not sure though, but there's this guy that had like seven Miley Cyrus tattoos and I thought maybe, maybe she was a little bit like that, like a little bit too obsessed with Harry Styles and that's why she got this face tattoo and she wanted to start extreme on her face. I don't know, but that was a bit of a stretch for me, but I kind of thought about that, like maybe she was like really, really obsessed in a really sick way. Okay, so let's go on to the reasons as to why I thought it could have been fake and real. So this applies to both sides, to be honest. So one thing a lot of people had pointed out was that the machine that Romeo was using in the photo in one of the, like, I think it was from an Instagram story or something, um, but the machine didn't have a cord attached to it. It was wireless. Now, I, till I did my research, <laughs> like a couple of days ago, I didn't know you could actually get wireless tattoo machines and you can, which is revolutionary to me because I did not know that. I thought it was all wired. So yeah, I did some digging and I found a machine that looks pretty much exactly the same as the one Romeo was using, which is wireless. So at first I thought it was fake because there was no cord. And everyone was saying, oh, there's no cord there. It's not plugged into anything. So then I was like, oh shit, yeah, it's fake. <laughs> but then when I figured out that you can get wireless tattoo machines, I was like, holy shit, it could be real. That's answered nothing. So that's why I was a bit like, this could be fake or real. And another reason why I thought it could be fake or real either way is because I thought it was for like a prank video or a social experiment which it kind of was for the social experiment if you think about it because everybody was talking about it everyone was just going crazy over this for a good week so it kind of did fall into that category of a social experiment and I actually put out a tweet I completely forgot what the tweet was hang on two seconds but I put out a tweet um three days before it was announced to be fake it even ended up in a twitter moment I have never been in a twitter moment ever 
ever, ever, ever before. So, hi, I made it. <laughs> so yeah, on the 29th of uh, January, I did this tweet. So the girl who got the Harry Styles face tattoo has a new song called Harry. I have a theory that the tattoo is fake and it's for a music video. Well, that's one of my theories anyway. So that was another theory and then, yeah, that was pretty much accurate. Okay, now let's go on to the reasons as to why I thought it was fake. And the first one is, because it's Romeo. <laughs> I literally put, because it's Romeo and he's game for fame and name dropping celebrities. You just have to look on his Twitter and it's just full of um, name dropping. There's one about him tattooing Marshmallow and there was one other one, I don't know, I screenshotted a couple anyway. But yeah, that's why I thought it was fake because he's game for any kind of publicity, tattooing anyone with some sort of social media status. So obviously she was a singer, she had a bit of a following beforehand. So he was probably game for it. He was like, okay, hang on, this girl wants a fake tattoo of Harry Styles on her face. This is gonna blow up, it's gonna be insane. My name's gonna be in newspaper articles again and YouTubers are gonna talk about me again. It's such a good tactic to get more what the cool kids say, clout. I hate using that word. <laughs> I just, I feel too old using that word. <laughs> I'm 29, like, can we just, like, not with that word? Ugh. So yeah, that's why I thought it was fake and I thought Romeo was just doing it because, you know, clout or whatever the cool kids say. Also, the reason why I thought it was fake is the quality of work was so bad. So, so bad. I know it sounds like I always throw him under the bus because of his tattoos. It's not his artwork that's the problem. I mean, micro tattoos and single needle tattoos are a bit of a problem because everyone thinks they're gonna last forever, but they're actually not gonna last forever because of Romeo de Costa. And so many tattoo artists get so mad at these small tattoos when people go in there and ask for them and they're just like, actually, no, this is not gonna last. And then people get arrogant and cocky and say, yes, they are because this tattoo artist, it's just a whole roller coaster. But yeah, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, like his work isn't bad, it's just, problematic and his attitude towards his work is problematic. So when I saw this tattoo, I was like, I know Romeo can do much better than this. Like he has never produced anything this bad because that was horrific. Like everyone was comparing it to um, Dustin from <laughs> Stranger Things, the poor kid. He doesn't deserve that. He is an absolute fucking angel. Stop that, no. <laughs> He's doing the most in Stranger Things and you're just gonna compare him to a squiggle on someone's face. Like, no, <laughs> let's not go there. But yeah, that's another reason why I thought it was fake. I just thought, Romeo could do so much better than that. I know this sounds so strange coming from my mouth. I promise this won't last forever. <laughs> but yeah, the quality of work was so, so bad. I was just like, it looked like a scratcher had done it. Like someone who had just picked up a machine from eBay and thought, fuck it, I'm gonna start on someone's face because why not? That's the easiest thing to do. So let's move on to current day. Kelsey put out a video on her, her YouTube channel, whatever it was, I'm not sure. But she put out a video explaining the whole situation and why it's fake and why she did such a thing. And it's all honestly down to a marketing tactic. You know, it's that outrage and it's to get people talking because it's so, it's just so out of the box. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, you know, it's this like pretty girl as people were putting it, this pretty girl Getting a getting a face tattoo, a very badly done face tattoo of Harry Styles. And that is obviously, you know, insane. Insane. <laughs> a lot of people get face tattoos. We'll talk about that in a second. But it's like she didn't have any, I don't know if she has any tattoos anyway, but she didn't have any visible tattoos. She didn't look tattooed in any way, shape or form. So to just do that, it's like outrageous to a lot of people. And it got people talking and it pretty much blew up overnight. And they didn't know it would work, they hoped it would work, but I think it worked a lot better than what they were planning out for it to work because she was absolutely shocked. If you watch the video, I'll link it down below so you guys can watch this video because I'm not gonna put any clips in here or anything like that. But yeah, if you watch that video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I was talking to Quick and she sent me some tea. She come across this and it's actually from Kelsey's manager, I believe. It was pretty much, Apparently his, by the looks of things, his idea. It wasn't her idea, it was this guy's idea. Uh, and basically what it says in this caption, so this has got no traction, by the way. I, I don't know how quick I found this, but well done. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, it says, I come up with an idea for our client, Kelsey Carter. The idea put a fake tattoo of Harry Styles on her face to promo her new song called Harry. I knew if we had something that looked realistic enough and was ridiculous enough, the internet would do the rest for us. And it turned out to be one of the most viral stories on the internet this last week. So it's got a step-by-step -step here. So this is pretty much what the video entails. So I'll just read this out for you. Um, step one, get Kelsey on board with this idea. This shit is scary and a lot of artists can't handle the love hate that it comes with it. Lots of brainstorming with various people to pull in more ideas. Step three, get Romeo Lacoste to create the most ridiculous tattoo and give the story serious credibility plus create all the assets we will need. Step four, time out the whole campaign and when everything is going to post, etc. Um, step five, post. Step six, plant the picture in a couple of strategic places to make sure the conversation gets started properly. Step seven, release the Harry song and video as the story is reaching its height. Step eight, roll out a couple key press stories in credible publications to give the story more narrative and bring attention to the song and video. Step nine, let the internet attack, fend off, interview requests, hope Harry isn't too mad and plot the next step. Step 10, do a couple of interviews in key places for strategic reasons. Make a documentary about what we did that keeps the song front and center. Step 11, start thinking about the next one. Well, nobody's gonna believe you ever again, so don't even try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, results, mass internet cultural awareness, 1 million views on the Harry video and 50k new followers on Instagram, good times. So, no matter how much we hate this whole situation or no matter how much we disagree with this, it worked. It was very, 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 very fucking smart. So well done to this guy who thought of it. He needs a raise. <laughs> I wish he didn't fucking drag tattoos into this, but... So let's talk about each point that was written down here. So step one, Kelsey was on board with the idea. Um, this shit is scary. I don't actually think it's scary. You know, it's not real. You didn't actually do it. It's not scary, okay? <laughs> and um, face tattoos should not be seen as scary anyway. Um, lots of brainstorming. So they obviously had multiple ideas. Step three, get Romeo Lacoste to get involved. I think the reason as to why they use Romeo, one, he's probably the only person that would be game to do this. Two, he himself has a big following, so people would see this on his Instagram or Twitter or wherever it was posted. That's just like a million pairs of eyes on that already. Good marketing technique, very smart to go to him. Also, he would be very much down for doing something like this because like I was saying earlier, it's for clout. So now lots of other people know who he is. He's been in the news before a couple of times, I think, because he tattoos YouTubers and celebrities and whatever else he fucking does. So he's not shy when it comes to this kind of thing. So it was a good move to reach out to him, obviously. Uh, so then the step four was timing out the whole campaign, which they did very nicely. So the whole picture freaking blew up and they did everything correctly, I would say from a marketing point of view. Um, and then step five was post, which was when everything, you know, started to blow up and then they released the song and uh, yeah, they did interviews and stuff like that. There's nothing else really to talk about with that side of things. So this tattoo got everyone enraged, <laughs> like everyone. I was tweeting about it. Uh, Quicken made a video, like I was saying, Philip DeFranco made a video. I actually haven't watched any videos on it because I didn't want their views to skew mine. I wanted all of this to be my own opinion, but as soon as this is posted, I'll be watching those videos to see what they said. There's been tattoo artists talking about it lots that I have followed have put it in their Instagram stories. I think Snake Pit posted it, which is a Instagram page that posts really bad tattoos and stuff. And that's what made me also, I didn't write that down, but that's also another point as to why I thought it could have been real because lots of people were posting it and I was just like, oh my God, like there's all these actual tattoo artists posting about it. So even they think it's real. And I was just like, holy shit, like that, it, it could be real. <laughs> Tim Hendrix made a Twitter post about it and he said there are two types of tattoo artists, the type who have ethics and then dumbasses like this, which <laughs> ain't saying anything. So I want to talk about how I felt about the whole thing in general. So not like whether I thought it was real or fake, but how I saw it as like an issue or a problem, whatever you want to call it. And 
we'll do like a little timeline. So when I first saw it, at first I was like, of course it's fucking Romeo Lacoste, like of fucking course, who else is it gonna be? Nobody else, like no one else would do something this stupid. And then as it blew up more and more and as it become more mainstream media, you had all of these articles coming out or uh, from people that probably don't have tattoos or are not very educated in the tattoo side of things or you know you had these articles saying young pretty girl got a face tattoo of Harry Styles it's really bad it's horrific and why would she deface her face like that and why would she tattoo her face and why would she get some just all these things about face tattoos and pretty much putting out their opinion to say face tattoos are fucking ugly she's ruined her face by doing this even though the whole situation was stupid like you know doing this for marketing reasons or to get her name out there to get her music video out there to get followers whatever and Romeo has done it for the exact same reason he wanted the clout if this was real and you have all of these news articles being so negative about the situation and you know it being on her face this is the problem for me personally is the fact that so many people were shitting on face tattoos it was to the point where nobody really actually cared about the face tattoo or what the situation was it's more to point out you know the rise in face tattoos so i saw an article i think it was either unilad or bbc news or something like that where they were talking about the situation and then all of a sudden they started like shitting on Post Malone and Justin Bieber because obviously they have face tattoos and it's kind of like that that's not mm, is it really relevant like I don't think it's relevant like you don't need to shit on other people's tattoos to make your point more solid and there was a lot of people shitting on face tattoos and the rise of face tattoos and you guys know me I am very open-minded when it comes to tattoos. If you want a tattoo on your face, go the fuck ahead. If you want a tattoo on your butthole, go the fuck ahead. If you want a tattoo anywhere on your whole entire body, it's up to you, it's your existence, it's your life. Would I get a face tattoo personally? I wouldn't say no. Honestly, I would not say no. It's not something that is on my cards at the precise moment in time. But if I'm feeling a little bit fruity and I want something on my face, I don't see anything wrong with that. It's my body, it's my life choices. So, yeah, I had such a big problem with everyone shitting on her because it was a face tattoo. But Morgan Joyce, who is a tattoo model and a YouTuber, she put out a couple of tweets. Um, the first one, I think, was, yeah, no shit. Now, let's not pull stupid shit like this again or anything else that keeps furthering negative stereotypes in the tattoo community. Thanks. And I obviously 110% agree with that. It is. It's just like... <sighs> Of all things they did, they dragged the tattoo world into this. And we we are progressing. Well, I mean, it would be nice if we progressed faster, let's be serious, but we are getting there. Visible tattoos are more acceptable. Tattoos in general are pretty much accepted, you know, within most situations. Obviously there's a few situations where they're not accepted and there's loads of people that hate them. I've made plenty of videos about all of that and, you know, tattoo discrimination and stuff. But for the most part, Compared to like 20 years ago or something, we have come a long way when it comes to tattoo acceptance. But then you get something like this and it just makes all tattooed people look like a fucking idiot. Like all irresponsible or we're all doing it for attention. When we're not doing it for attention, we're just living our everyday life. You know, we're getting a nice bit of artwork on our arms, our legs, back, chest, stomach, face, wherever. We're just going about our everyday life, you know, enjoying the tattoo world. They give them confidence they make them feel like themselves like if i woke up and all my tattoos had gone i would feel really 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 fucking sad about it because they're not they don't make me me but they are my identity so to say when it comes to you know the way i look and the way i present myself but yeah back onto morgan joyce she then tweeted out saying everyone getting upset about my tweet about the dumb fake face tattoo it's obviously not a tattooed person which yeah i kind of agree with that there is uh, there is different I don't want to be like gatekeeping or saying like you're this type of way or you're that type of way but there is different oh my god I've just realized my hands are so green <laughs> oh my god I don't know if that's very noticeable from for you guys but my hands are so green and I wore gloves anyway there is different stages within being a tattooed person I would say so there's people that take it seriously like me and you guys who live eat sleep breathe tattoos and we love it and we watch tattoo videos and we're always excited for our next tattoo appointment and we're always searching tattoo artists to get tattooed by and we go to tattoo conventions and 
you know, there's like, it's like hardcore tattoo fandom, right? Something like that. And then you get the casual people that get tattooed, they'll just go to any old studio, they'll get a couple of tattoos and whatever, you know? And I imagine for the most part, people that are tattooed that are just like, nah, I don't care, are those types of people. There's nothing wrong with being that type of people, but coming from a point of view where we're just like, hi, we really like tattoos and please don't make us look like bad people. Please don't make us look like we're irresponsible and impulsive and we'll do stupid stuff like this. Uh, I don't know, it's just, mm, there is a tweet actually from Philip DeFranco, I follow him, obviously. <laughs> Um, and he put out something, hang on, let me see if I can find it. Um, yeah, he tweeted out, yep, yeah, as I said before, here is the attention you ordered, but big reminder, all kinds of attention are not equal. So congrats on being singer, that fake stupid thing, because her music wasn't enough on its own instead of whatever your name is. <laughs> is he lying though? If your music isn't doing well enough by itself, that you have to pull this kind of shit. <laughs> What does that say about you, really? So, yeah, I wish they did a different marketing technique. Or maybe they could have just worked a little bit harder on her music and getting it out there. You know, go on podcasts, collaborate with other YouTubers and creators or other singers. Like, there's so many different ways of getting your name out there and pulling this kind of shit. It, it's just... I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Comment on down below. There'll be relative links down below to like articles, YouTubers I've mentioned, videos I've mentioned and stuff like that. So make sure you go and check those out if you wanna delve in a little bit deeper. But yeah, they got what they wanted. I'm sitting here talking about it. You know, it's a bit outdated, but I did put a poll on my Instagram to ask if you guys wanted to hear my opinion and it, I think it was like 83% said yes. So here we are. Anyway, let's, let's get that out of the way. I think we're all gonna have trust issues now when anyone that is a celebrity or anyone that comes across Romeo Holocaust or whatever gets a face tattoo, let's just all ignore it. Let's do that, shall we? Let's ignore problematic face tattoos like this and articles like this because it's just not doing us, it's just not doing the tattoo community any favors. So yeah, I'm sitting here talking about it, but whatever anyway i hope you guys are all doing very very well and until my next video bye <laughs>